a car's air conditioning is a wonderful luxury, keeping the driver cool on those hot summer days. This car was brought to our service shop because the AC no longer cools like it used to. In this episode, we'll follow Mike, the service technician, as he diagnoses the issue and performs the repair needed, all using his technical skills and special equipment. The first step is to perform a visual inspection, making sure critical components are working correctly. He notices the electric fan to cool the condenser is not turning on like it should. The condenser is a heat exchanger that cools the AC system's liquid called refrigerant. A voltage meter is used to check if the fan is receiving the proper power. It is not. The fuses and relays are then checked. They are operating correctly, but the fan still does not come on. Next on the list is to study the wiring schematic to help visualize how the fan's electrical circuit operates. Noticing the low system pressure switch, he concludes the system must be low on refrigerant. A special machine dubbed the AC machine is connected to the service ports to extract the refrigerant. Once extracted, the machine will weigh the contents, which will be compared to the specifications on the factory sticker. This system is low on refrigerant, indicating there is a small leak somewhere. The system is charged by adding the proper amount, just to test if the fan will come on. Success! Now to find the leak with the aid of a ultraviolet black light. Dye was added earlier to the system and will illuminate when in contact with the UV light. He looks all around at each AC system's component for the dye. Aha! The condenser has leaks in multiple areas and must be replaced. After extracting the refrigerant that was just put in for testing, it's time to replace the faulty part. It takes many steps but it's all part of the job. Replacing the old sealing rings is important to ensure a tight seal for the life of the component. Special care is taken when going back together, but you wouldn't want to damage the condenser's soft aluminum components. The correct amount of oil is added and the system is charged to specifications, then checked again for leaks. If all goes well, Afterwards, a test drive and AC performance test is in order. A thermometer is used to check the performance. Everything looks great. The customer will be happy while staying cool this summer. Thank you for watching. We hope you've learned a little of what goes on behind the scenes and what it takes getting these cars back on the road. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to catch our latest episodes of Now You Know. And until next time, stay cool out there.